hat there. I wanted to share a tool with you that I used with one of my clients this week um, called the Awareness Wheel. And it is a way, it's a format for having a difficult conversation. And um, I wanted to share it with you today because tis the season for difficult conversation. <laughs> it's probably always the season for difficult conversations, right? So this is the framework. It actually works. Um, <laughs> so, well, let me, tell, let me tell you the framework and then I can give you some examples. So when we're in a difficult situation, the first thing to share, it, it's called the awareness wheel and it's based on, I feel, I think I want communicating this. So this is a way to accurately communicate your truth, where you're coming from and your thoughts about the situation and how you would like the situation to go. So the first is I feel. So what you want to share with a person, hang with me here and then I'll give you some examples. What you want to share is your feelings or your emotions. So you might even want to just Google an emotion list so you can look at a list of emotions because sometimes it's hard for us to identify what we're actually feeling. Now, before you have this conversation with someone, you're going to want to go through this yourself and think through it. I like to write things down. Like, what am I feeling about this situation? Um, and then just, you know, rehearse it and really think about it and get clear on it before you communicate it with the other person. That's super helpful until you get good at it. And then you can do it off, off um, the cuff. But in the beginning, you'll want to practice it. So think about the emotion. I'm feeling hurt. Um, I'm feeling confused. I'm feeling um, uneasy. I'm feeling disappointed. I'm feeling angry. So whatever your emotions are, and you can say more than one, you can say a couple. So identify what are you feeling about this situation. Now, if you say, I feel like, or I feel that, that's not a feeling, that's a thought. That's what you're gonna say next. You have to say an emotion here. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel that, not an emotion. That's a thought. So just look at a simple list of emotions and it's one or two. You just say what, you can use three if you need to. So first I feel, um, you can also say, I feel really awkward having this conversation with you. I'll give you the example so in a minute. I feel, I think is the second one. So this is what you think about the situation. So I just started to say, let's use that example. I feel really awkward having this conversation with you because I'm afraid that it's going to go poorly. These are your thoughts about the situation. And what I want, that's the third thing. This is what you want out of the situation. What I want is for this conversation to help us get closer or to help us resolve the situation. So when you're in, when you're in communication with someone, you'll want to keep going around the wheel. I think it's great to start with acknowledging the discomfort of the conversation, if that's what you're feeling. Acknowledge that and then get into how you feel about the actual situation or the conflict that you're talking about. So first of all, go through this about having the conversation because, you know, how many times have you been um, in a situation where you're like, this is super awkward or I feel nervous. I was talking about this um, with my daughter and my husband the other day um, when I used to, when I first started speaking in front of groups and I felt nervous, I found just saying just standing up in front of all these people and saying, I feel really nervous because I'm afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing or I'm going to forget. And I want this to go really well. And then my nerves would be gone and the audience would be like, oh, she's human. We can all relax. <laughs> but you, have you seen a speaker before who gets up there and they're super nervous and you know that they're super nervous and they're super awkward and they're thinking and feeling, I'm nervous, I'm awkward, I'm going to mess this up. They're having this conversation in their head. I have to do this right. And they have all these thoughts in their head and then it just makes things worse and worse and then the audience feels so uncomfortable. So I find when you open the conversation with, I feel really 
I feel really vulnerable having this conversation with you. Um, so just open it up like that. That's a nice way to break the ice and to create connection right off the bat with someone to just acknowledge where you're at, just acknowledge what's going on with you. So a couple of fine points here. So I feel is the emotion and then your thoughts about the situation. Do not blame people when you're talking about your thoughts. These are your thoughts and your assumptions about the situation. I think that when you act this way, that that means that you're mad at me. I want to understand what you're trying to communicate and I don't want to make assumptions. Okay. So your thought is you can say, you know, if they specifically do something that upsets you, you can use that as part of your thought, but make sure it's not like you're a miserable, awful person. When you do that thing, um, you just want to say, you just want to acknowledge what they're doing and then how you think what you think that means, because you might be wrong. This is a way to share where you're coming from and your truth, but also a way to check in with, am I interpreting what you're saying and doing correctly? So this is, this is how you check in with your assumptions, is this I think. And then the I want is what you what do you want from this situation? And this is often hard with people. I went through this with um, someone the other day and we got to, you know, I coached them through the I feeling, I coached them through the I thinking, we got to the I want, and I said, what do you want from this situation? And they were like, I don't actually know. I don't know what I want. And so that kind of breaks down the communication when you're like, what do you want? Like, what is your goal? And it's a really great exercise for us to get clear on what do we actually want? What are our expectations of the situation reasonable? I want you to be a completely different person. <laughs> I want you to change your personality when you're around me. Are our wants reasonable? And do we even know what we want? And we're not, we don't have any chance of getting what we want if we're not clear about saying what we want and if we're not clear on what do I actually want and then I'm going to communicate what I actually want. It doesn't mean you're going to get it. There's no guarantee that you're going to get what you want, but there's a 100% guarantee that you're not, mm, probably 90% guarantee that you're not going to get it if you don't even know what it is or you don't express it. So important to express clearly understand for yourself and then express what do you want from the situation. Um, and also be careful with the I want. You don't want that to be a demand. I want you to. That really rarely works, right? Sometimes it does. Um, this is the finer points of the wheel that you can work out with a coach or a partner or something uh, or me. Um, by the way, if you want, if this is resonating with you and you want to schedule a session, I am happy to work through your specific situation with you and we can just, I can work through, I feel, I think I want with you and we can get, I can help you get clear on the finer points of working this out. Um, but I want cannot be a demand of the other person's expectation. The I want needs to be something that you have control over and that is not demanding them to do something. So I want for us to be closer. I want for us, I want to understand um, where you're coming from. I want us to create a stronger relationship. I want us to have a cordial working relationship. You know, if it's with a coworker, maybe you don't need to be their friend, but you want to have a cordial working relationship. So what is it that you want out of the situation? <clears throat> now, they're going to have a response. And it might not be respectful. <laughs> and they probably don't know the awareness wheel and they're probably not going to be using it. So when they respond, that may trigger you. And you're going to be like, well, this doesn't work because they were mad and they started blaming me. No, you stick with the wheel. You take a deep breath. This also helps to slow you down so that you're not automatically reacting but having this format helps to slow you down so that you can respond in a respectful way and open the lines of communication. So then you'll want to say whatever their response is, you want to go through this again. I'm feeling whatever the emotion is. I'm thinking 
These are your thoughts and assumptions about the situation. And then this is what you want. This can feel really, it will 100% feel really awkward at first. And you might not want to use that exact language. I feel um, blah, blah. Or you might, you have to put it in your own words. So you can start off with these at the beginning of your sentence, but you want to practice it and think about it so that you can put it in your own words so um, it doesn't feel so awkward to you. So this is called the awareness wheel. It is a communication tool for open communication and creating understanding and connection. And if you want some help with it, working out your specific situation, I'm happy to do that. Just schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. The link is in the bio and I'd be happy to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.